good morning boys and girls welcome again back to to all the world kids productions and today we are continuing to look at mission projects that you can do at home and so today is a simple mission project that you can have a lot of fun with and you can take all year planning it um, you're going to start with a basic simple shoe box and within this shoe box you are going to fill it with special items. First, you want to think, do I want to pack for a boy or a girl? Once you've answered that question, then you're going to think, what age group do I want to pack my shoe box for? Is my boy or girl going to be two to four? Are they gonna be four to six? Are they gonna be six to eight? Are they gonna be eight? Are they going to be 10 to 12 or 12 to 14 sort of age bracket? This shoe box that we are packing is going to go to a very, very special um, child that we don't know. We don't know where they live. So you want to think, do you, is God, you want to pray over, is God telling you to pack a box for a warm place or a cold place and you want to pick items that would be appropriate for your child's age and gender and you want to um, put them in your shoe box so you want to think about how big is my shoe box is it a little tiny one or is it a bigger one and <clears throat> once you've answered that then you are going to start my son jeffrey actually wanted to do this box this was his idea so he wanted to give them 20 hot wheels cars yes 20 hot wheels cars anyway so you would put um your cars in here in this particular project it is good to remove extra packaging because number one, it gives you more space, and number two, we don't know what kind of trash facilities this child will have access to in their country. So we are going to actually put 24 Hot Wheels cars in here because these little containers hold six cars. Um, we wanted to put them in these containers to keep them from scratching. So we are actually going to Sometimes you have to play with it and turn your items around to get the best fit. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we put them in the containers to keep them from getting scratched. And you know what? This child may need plastic containers in the country where they live. So we are going to include not just fun items like puzzles, and a stuffed animal, but we also want to include practical things that the child can use, like a bar of soap. Now, um, regulations in some countries don't allow you to send anything that says medicated on it. So we've left it in the package and put it in a Ziploc bag to help keep it from getting damaged along the way. Um, and so, we are going to find the best spot to stick that in our shoe box. And there's a little hole under there, but anyway, um, we'll fill it later. Um, the one downside of the plastic containers for the cars is that, yes, there is a lot of wasted space in the box, but hopefully the child will be happy with 24 Hot Wheels cars for themselves and to share with others. Um, flashlights are a big deal in these places and having batteries that are not connected is important and this has that so we're going to send them four flashlights so maybe they have a family that needs some flashlights too and we are going to give them a screwdriver um, if you haven't figured out our box here is going to be for a boy and they are going to be in the 10 to 14 age category. Um, 
and we want to include a writing tablet of some sort in our box that we here again we are going to take out the packaging because that can fill up a lot of waste so there's our notepad in the box and we want our child to also be able to gain the full benefit of going to school so they will only receive one shoebox in their lifetime and I have heard many different viewpoints on how many pencils you should put in to a shoebox and um, when I send my kids to school I don't send them just one pencil I don't send them two pencils or ten pencils um, you know, I could send them a whole package, maybe 24 pencils. This is not 24 pencils, but if you can, I do suggest sending as many pencils as you can. Um, because um, if they had to use, how long would you want that child to use one pencil or a nub of a pencil? Think about it. How easy is it for you to use a nub of a pencil? So... Anyway, we want to make life as easy as possible for this child. And we also want to include a pencil sharpener. And we also want to include a toothbrush. Here again, plastic containers are valuable in lots of places and so are Ziploc bags. So don't be bashful about whatever you have on hand to use for this. We also want to um, make sure that this child has a way to comb their hair. And actually in this box, because my son's favorite color is green, I'm going to give the child a green toothbrush in a Ziploc bag and a comb that's green and of course the pencil sharpener is green. <laughs> I'm going to send this child a um, silicone travel straw. Maybe it'll make their life a little easier when it comes to getting a drink. And I'm going to fill that hole down there in the bottom with all those pencils because I think that the pencils will fit very nicely in that hole. Let's just do a little test and see. So far, I'm liking how it's looking. And we can alternate those big erasers. Just like this. And more. put in Put the sharpener in there. And then um, we also want to include crayons so that they have a way to color and another big eraser so that hopefully they will be prepared for big mistakes if they have any. And we also want to send this washcloth so that they can stay clean because they may not have their own washcloth and then you definitely want to fill the box as full as you can pray over what else you might be able to put in your box and then when it's full 
you'll want to write a special Christmas note to this child, even though you don't know their name, and stick it in the top here, but don't lick your envelope because it this whole box will be checked to make sure that there is nothing that should not be in this box, like you should not send candy, as well as medications or medicated items. And so when it's full and you have your card in there, you'll close it and you will grab a special um, shoebox label. This is part of the Operation Christmas Child Program. And you will, um, you'll also want to consider going online at their website and paying $9 per shoebox for shipping. And that's really a great deal considering how much it costs to send just a small package internationally. Um, so definitely consider doing that. It's very important. And you will take this sticker and you'll peel it. And you will attach it to your shoe box. And you will grab a pen and we are going to mark the boy spot and we're gonna do this for a 10 to 14 boy and then we are going to pray over what else we should fill our specific box with and um, if you scan the QR code, you will be able to follow your box and find out what country it went to. And that will be really fun. But that's if you pay the $9 shipping. So make sure you do that. And then the third week in November, you would take it to um, a big the local drop-off location, which is usually a Baptist church. So um, plan on that and always pray for the child. And we hope that you've enjoyed this program. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel and come back and watch more videos. Yes, you can decorate the box if you want. We just chose not to. Thank you for watching and join us again next time. Thank you. Bye.